Welcome to another factory tour by Appelbaum. Today we're in Nuremberg, Germany. We are visiting one of the oldest writing instrument manufacturers in the world, Kaweco. The company was founded in 1889 by the Heidelberg Pen Company and since 1994 it is owned by the Gutbelle family. Kaweco is well known for their pocket pens, like the Lilliput and the Sport but they also have wonderful writing instruments in other segments, like the DIA2 or the student. The inspiration for the current models is often taken from historical Kaweco products of earlier periods, which gives the Kaweco writing instruments a vintage feel. The brand's history and the nostalgic design of its products are deeply intertwined with modern technology. Kaweco focuses on what they are good at. The production of the individual pen parts is outsourced to expert factories from four different countries. All these parts arrive at the Kaweco plant in Nuremberg, where they are assembled with the famous German Grundigkeit. In this video, Michael Gutberle, the CEO of Kaweco, shows us which steps are required to assemble the Kaweco pens in the traditional way, just like they did back in the days. It all starts with the airtight inner cap, which is placed on a holder. The outer cap is then placed over the inner cap. The logo coin is put on top of it, and then everything is pressed firmly together. The cap is now finished. For the second step, the nip and feet are placed in the nip holder. The nip unit is then placed inside the grip section and pressed together. Now the writing part of the pen is assembled. With the addition of an ink cartridge and the barrel, the body of the pen is complete. Once the cap is added, the entire pen is finished and ready to write. Even today, the Kaweco pens are still partly made by hand although some parts of the assembly process have been automated. The caps are completed fully automatically, including the logo printing. The injection molded caps are lined up for the machine. The first step is the printing of the Caveco logo in silver or gold foil on one of the eight facets of the cap. After that, the logo coin and airtight inner cap are added and everything is pushed together. All Caveco fountain pens get their nib sections assembled right here in the facility. The nib assembly is still done in the traditional way, but two at a time, for a higher productivity. As you can see, this is all handwork. Eventually, the Caveco pens are placed in the small plastic bags and put in the stock of the warehouse ready to be shipped. Caveco's warehouse is really impressive. It is divided into two segments. One for the parts that still have to be assembled and one for the finished products. The finished pens are ready to be shipped to the retailers, like Appelbaum. Caveco has a huge stock of all of their products, so every regular color is available at any time. The items are categorized and then sorted by nib white and writing mode. Right above each product is a picture of the item, to minimize the risk of picking the wrong item. The Caveco company is a cornerstone of the current writing industry, as well as writing history. The CEO of Kaweco, Michael Gutberle, has a great passion for fountain pens and so does the rest of the staff at the company and it really shows when you talk to them. Kaweco is a very interesting player in the market. They make high quality pens that are very popular among beginning as well as experienced riders. The Kaweco pens are compact, durable, don't run dry and have great nips. This makes them not only a great everyday carry pen, but they are also ideal as a first pen or as a gift to penable someone. Apart 
from the writing qualities of the pens, they come in many, many different colors and editions. Add to that their vintage feel, plus the fact that they are very affordable, and it's no wonder that collectors all over the world proudly show off their rainbow of Kawekos. With so many great qualities, we think that everyone should have at least one Kaweco in their collection.